These are the focus tonight. Raja Pemaisuri Agong arrives in Kuching. Sultan Selangor and Tengku Pemaisuri arrive in Kuching. Brunei delegation pays courtesy visit to Dato Amar Awang Tengah. Strawa aims to cut lodging rate. Children's department to be established in Sarawak. Good evening. Her Majesty the Queen of Malaysia, Raja Zarid Sofia, arrived at Kuching International Airport on Friday. Her Majesty's arrival at 11.20 a.m was welcomed by the wife of the Sarawak governor, Toh Puan Fauziah Muhammad Sanusi. Also present to greet Her Majesty were the wife of the Premier Sarawak, Puan Sri Dato Amar Jumaani Tun Tuanku Bujang, the wife of the Deputy Premier of Sarawak, Datin Amar N. Ong Sio Yen, Sarawak Minister for Women, Early Childhood and Community Wellbeing Development, Datuk Sri Fatima Abdullah, and other dignitaries. Her Majesty's visit to Kuching is to officiate the 59th Annual General Meeting of the Girl Guides Association Malaysia, which will be held at Borneo Convention Center Kuching, BCCK, on Saturday. In the evening, Raja Zarid Sofia will attend the state banquet at the Sarawak State Legislative Assembly Dining Hall at 8 p.m. Her Majesty is scheduled to return to Sunai International Airport on 30th June. Meanwhile, His Royal Highness, the Sultan of Selangor, Sultan Sharafuddin Idris Shah Al-Hajj, and Her Royal Highness, the Tonku Permaisuri of Selangor, Tonku Permaisuri Haja Nor Ashikin, arrived safely at Kuching International Airport on Friday. Their Majesty's arrival at 11.55 a.m., was welcomed by the Sarawak State Legislative Assembly Speaker, Tan Sri Dato Amar Muhammad Asfia Awang Nasar and his wife, Wan Sri Datin Amar Fatima Iskandar, as well as other dignitaries. Sultan Sharafuddin Idris Shah Al-Hajj and Tengku Permasuri Haja Norashikin will grace the Rainforest World Music Festival, RWMF, at the Sarawak Cultural Village on Friday and Saturday. Additionally, on Saturday morning, the royal couple will visit the Tun Juga Foundation Museum and Gallery. Their Majesties are expected to depart Kuching on special flight on 30th June. Sarawak Deputy Premier Dato Amar Awang Tengah Ali Hassan received a courtesy visit from a delegation led by Brunei Darussalam's Second Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dato Sri Setia Awang Ariwan. Pahin Datuk Pakema Jaya Muhammad Yusof at Wisma Sumba Alam in Kuching on Friday. The courtesy visit lasting over two hours aimed to enhance bilateral cooperation between Sarawak and Brunei in various aspects including energy development, telecommunication, commercial agriculture, tourism, investment and trade. Also discussed was the upcoming opening of the Sarawak Trade and Tourism Office Brunei startup in Bandar Sri Begawan, which will further strengthen the bilateral cooperation. Meanwhile, development plans to increase road connectivities, particularly the Northern Coastal Highway connecting Sarawak and Brunei Darussalam, are expected to boost economic activities for mutual prosperities. Also present during the courtesy visit were Consul General of Brunei Darussalam to Sarawak, Sheikh Abdul Mahdani Sheikh Abdul Ghani, Sarawak State Secretary Dato Amar Muhammad Abu Bakar Marzuki, Sarawak State Attorney General Dato Safri Ali, Permanent Secretary to the Sarawak Ministry of Natural Resources and Urban Development Dato Abdullah Julahi, and Director of the Economic Planning Unit EPU Sarawak Dato Lester Matthew. The Sarawak Government through the Sarawak Forestry Department is steadfast on cutting down lodging activities to around 2 million cubic meters each year, ensuring adherence to forest management certification criteria. Surat Deputy Premier Dato Amar Awang Tengah Ali Hassan emphasized the importance of aligning the state's forest management with international standards, which in turn allowed timber's product to be competitively marketed globally.
According to him, there are 26 forest management units and 7 plantation management units that have been certified thus far, covering an acres of 2.38 million hectares and encompassing a region of 97,966 hectares. He said this during the short first three departments, Excellent Service Awards and Retirement Appreciation Dinner held in Kuching on Thursday. On a similar note, Dato Amar Awang Tengah mentioned that the government targets boosting income from forest resources by adopting more sustainable methods. Furthermore, he urged all parties involved to collaborate in realizing the sustainable development goals and to back the aim of cutting greenhouse gas emissions by 45% by the year 2030, as stipulated in the 2015 Paris Agreement. He further explained that a range of green development efforts have been carried out encompassing hydropower, solar energy, biomass biofuels, hydrogen sustainable aviation fuel, SAF and carbon capture, utilization and storage, CCUS. The early childhood development division in each state, including Sarawak, will be elevated to the status of a department. Sarawak Minister for Women, Early Childhood and Community Wellbeing Development, Datuk Sri Fatima Abdullah, said the proposal to upgrade the status is still in the planning stage. Seperti yang dicadangkan, ianya tidak lagi di bawah apa nama jabatan. Ia masih di bawah jabatan kerja, tapi ia ada jabatan sendiri. Misalnya kalau okay, di bawah kementerian kita ada bahagian kanak-kanak sekarang, bahagian, bahagian kanak-kanak. So kalau misalnya kita bercakap ianya akan menjadi jabatan dari bahagian itu boleh jadi jabatan, tapi ia masih bawah di bawah kementerian. She said this during the 59th annual general meeting and conference of the Girl Guides Association Malaysia in Kuching on Friday. Dato Sri Fatima added that at the federal level, the Department of Children's Development has been established to address issues of child neglect and abuse based on five main pillars, namely prevention, development, protection, rehabilitation, and reintegration into society. And that's the English edition with me, Stephanie Jores. More news can be found in our official portal, ukas.sarawak.gov.my, and social media platform, including Facebook and YouTube. Only 50 days left until the 21st Malaysia game, Sukma Sarawak 2024, begins. We would like to take this opportunity to invite Sarawakian from all walks of life to celebrate and enliven this upcoming sport event. Hashtag Slower Informasi Rakyat. Have a good night.